Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In this video, we'll explore different LEGO designs for windows that you can use for mock buildings or houses. This is not an exhaustive video in the sense that I'll cover every single possible LEGO window design. However, I'll give you a couple of ideas and designs that you can use for your own builds. Let's start off with the basics and that is the different parts that you can use for LEGOs in your builds. I'm sure you're familiar with these parts over here. These are standard LEGO windows in different sizes. They all come with inserts, which are transparent pieces that act as the glass window. For this particular size, which is a 4x4, it can also hinge, open and close. You can also get options where you get a completely opaque window as well. This is one example of grills which you can use and these are double swinging swivel grills. Over here, we have door frames or large window frames. If you put in a door insert, it's a door, but if you place these glass panels inside, which do not open, they are windows. You can also get this design over here, which has two horizontal slates. This is very pretty and I do like it as it adds some detail to a window. In the front, we have panel pieces. They also come in different sizes. These can be used as windows, but you just have to take note, there is a gap. So depending how you use it in your build, you need to make sure it's against bricks so that you can cover this gap. If not, I guess water can leak in if it rains. This is a very large panel, but it's basically the same thing. Over here, we have a one by two column piece, which is basically a large, I guess, or very tall one by two brick. And this is hollow, which means that you can put in uh, some tiles for design elements. And it is basically one solid piece. And you can also use regular one by two transparent bricks stacked together to form some kind of window. So here are some basic parts that you can use for LEGO windows. Now let's talk about the construction ideas and how to use these parts to create some very nice designs. Let's start with some basic windows and some bricks just to put together a mock-up of a wall. So let's just use a 1x8 long wall. Again, this is just a small mock-up, not the actual scale or size. And if you want to build a single window, it's very simple. You just use parts and you build up just like that to form a wall and a window just like that. So that's really straightforward and I'm sure you already knew that. You can also switch things around by combining different windows together. Maybe you could create a taller window just like that. Or you can also bring in a large window like that. Now if you use a large window, I would basically say use it maybe with just one brick off the ground or maybe just one plate off the ground so that you get this kind of a look. Especially if it's a French window design, you want it closer to the bottom of your build, not too high up. But of course, it depends on your design. Now you can also work with combinations. So you could use windows like that and maybe two of these stacked together along with your wall element which you have over here. So that's another possible window design, of course, assuming that your build is much bigger. You can have it asymmetrical instead of what I just did. So this goes here, but in this case, you take the big window here and you put the smaller window here. So now you have an asymmetrical look. It's a different kind of pattern and look, but it changes things about very simply. Again, if we remove this and let's just go with something like that, let's see if we can add in three windows. Now these are the smaller windows, but they line up in terms of height with two of the larger four by four windows. And that's a different look once again, and that's pretty nice as well. If you want, you could of course, just use this combination as well because that works. And uh, you can simply build it up as you can see and I'll just do that just to give you a look. And that's a, another possible window design. So basically just with these shapes, you can play around to create different window designs. There's no real hard and fast rule. Uh, do whatever you want and have fun with it. Here's another simple way you can create a window using these 
transparent panel parts. And this is ideal for some kind of a, I think a retail shop or very modern building. You could build it up this way, just using one large transparent panel. That's really straightforward. And if you can imagine, this is good if you have a retail shop looking in to maybe a store display, or maybe it's a bakery, so you look at a stand of different baked goods. You can also go full transparent, and you can use one of these one by two transparent columns, and that you get a whole clear window. So that's really simple. You can also maybe combine it. It may or may not go well, again, depending on your design. You can use the traditional windows and place them together like that. Okay, three don't work out, so you need to add in a brick just like that so that you get this kind of look. So it's a bit offset. If not, you possibly can work with one of these tall ones followed by a short one and that lines up and you can have that kind of level. And if you do two of them, flanking on each side, and I'll just create that now by putting this here, a one by two, and another one by two, that goes there, and we put that there, and we'll just switch this up. Now I'm building on the fly, so it's not pretty but it's just to give you that basic idea. And the reason I'm switching bricks around is just to ensure that I'm using bricks to overlap the joints. Because when you build, you always want to overlap joints so that everything is one solid piece, just like that. So that's quite a nice display. You have these windows flanking this large transparent piece. So really good for some kind of a window display or even a large window for a house or building. Now let's go into more intricate and ornate designs. This might fit an older style house design. Again, this is just a mock-up of one side of the wall and you're going to use a base with a 1x2 brick. This allows you to have a double width and you understand what I mean because previously for all the windows, we're just working with one layer of brick to create a very flat, clean look. So now we can give it a more layered look. And in this case, let's use these windows first with the grill pieces or grill windows that swing open. We'll take these column pieces, place them here, like that. And what makes this design is this arch piece. Because what you've done is immediately frame the windows like that to give it more of a classic look or design. You need bricks to fill in the space. And of course, as always, you need some kind of brick over the top to lock everything into place. And there you have a very nice ornate looking window. You can have a windowsill here, you can put some plants or you can build a windowsill as well or just tile it up. Instead of these style windows, let's see how it looks like with these transparent panels. So it's exactly the same thing. And here you have a combination of a classic look with a modern window. Looks also nice depending on your build. Here's something completely different and it's pretty cool because there's some movement and some features you can play around with. This will work well for a drive through counter, a security counter, a check-in counter, or even possibly some kind of office building. So let's put this together. Let's create a mock-up for a base first or the base of the wall. And this is slightly longer due to what we're going to do. And I'm going to use these modified plates with rails and these are two studs wide. There's also one which is one stud wide. You need the two stud wide one. That goes there. You're gonna use these panel pieces, which is one by fours. And let's see if you can tell what I'm doing. I'm basically placing another of these modified rail plates. And you've seen, I've created a sliding window. So you can close it or open it. Now, to complete the build, what you need to do is to block off this area, otherwise this entire window can slide out. So you can use something like this, some bricks. And of course, it depends on the design of your build. You can also maybe use a uh, one by two brick underneath here and then just build it up. But this gives a bit of a nice texture as you can see. Okay, I'm off by one stud. So that's where a plate can come in to raise it to the same level. 
and then you want to lock everything in place with either bricks or a plate and I'll use a plate just for this demonstration so now everything is locked together and that's quite nice dimension and kind of a 3D look for a window so it's not just flat like a one brick wide wall with a window so this gives much more dimension and of course there's this great feature of a sliding window that's why I meant by it's great for a security or check-in counter but you can also use this for maybe a condo or an apartment building but don't use these 4x4 transparent panels switch them out for these nice large windows with the horizontal slates in this case that goes there this goes here and I'm basically doing the same thing I'm placing the real piece on top you need to increase the stack here and let's do that now that goes here we need one more let's remove this first so we'll build that on top add that there this goes on top and we'll put everything back okay look what i just did i lined them up remember for a sliding panel you need to make sure that one is in front of the other if not it won't slide open and that is done for something like that i would remove probably one piece here and just to give an example of how it looks if you build it this way this works well for an apartment building where you've got nice kind of french windows or sliding windows which open and you can maybe build a balcony if you like so that you can have access out if not it's just a very nice large window which allows small kids to fall out of the building let's end this video with something a bit more interesting and more complex but its complexity also gives you more visual dimension for your mock building what i'm going to do is to create an angled window so you need these large pieces over here or you can use two four by four uh, windows which you stack together but I'll be using these large pieces for this little discussion you need hinging plates and you need column pieces or these are regular bricks columns only for purposes of this mock-up and regular plates as well so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to use these angled hinging plates to create that angle that we need for the window so that goes on like that just like that and we'll add more here just to finish it up for the bottom and you put hinges on top as well and that's to lock it in or lock the angle in so that it's really firm so there goes that and you place this on the side now you build this into a wall because you can see it's hinging it's free hinging so you want to lock it to a certain uh, 45 degree angle so you'd have your regular bricks where you lock your hinging plates in now you get a sense of how it looks like and you need of course some kind of plate that you build it in and you also need regular plates to place underneath the hinging plates of where the bricks are and you understand why in just a bit so let me just put that down here and this we'll put here and here we get a very nice look for a window as you can see that nice angles uh, it'll look like it really protrudes from a building or if you build it in a recess with a balcony that looks pretty nice as well the reason you need these regular plates underneath the columns or the bricks that you have over here if you don't these hinging plates will be pressing against uh, the base plate and won't sit well now you might say there's a gap behind or underneath these windows well what you do is you just towel this base plate and that will fill in the gap and everything will sit nicely so as you can see this works pretty well if you change this insert to a door you also get a door to create uh, an entrance to a balcony if you like but that's basically how you create a nice angled window i hope you enjoyed this video on different lego window designs for buildings houses and mocks if you have any simple but effective window designs, please share them with everyone. I'm sure we'd like to learn and add to our arsenal of designs to create our own special unique mocks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.